there just to let her and die and want it. Just then say, Titan or Boa! Oh, Boa, come back! I still need to see if you have bangs to help me sell my dino strip. To see if you were poisonous or a constrictor. <laughs> You seem a little bit small to take down the teeth. Titanoboa? <laughs> it's all Dino Experiment 511 Titanoboa. Can you imagine? The largest snake ever discovered also had the most awesome eyesight. It's had great night vision, and the T-Rex had eagle binocular. After all, it was the Titanoboa. Resource vision. Tanaboa, I know you're behind me, and I'd love to study the biggest snake of all time. But it's Father's Day, and Dad's going to love his new egg family gift. You can't slither out of this, partner. Take your time, Titanoboa. Look, Titanoboa has curved teeth. Can't 
pesar hasta 8 toneladas. Nos ha salido el elefante. El elefante es el mamífero más grande de la tierra. But yeah, first we have the Styracosaurus, which is, if you didn't know, it was from the Dino Dan website. And um, a few, only a couple of dinosaurs from the Dino Dan website have made it into this game. But um, yeah, here's the Styracosaurus. It has pretty slow animations, kind of similar to the Apatosaurus, which is also from the Dino Dan website. So um, yeah, these designs are also quite a bit old, so that's why they don't look the best compared to some other designs. But I still really like these designs. So generally there's a few stomping animations, a roaring animation, and um, yeah, mostly that's it. Then they also visit, again, this slow animation, which I believe with the tap face it does. And um, yeah, you can, again, this roaring animation. I genuinely think this is a pretty nice species. The colorations look nice, and honestly I just like seeing the old Dino Dan designs. Hopefully this guy makes it into, into Dino Dan still, who knows. Again, I'm just going to turn the model around a little bit so you can see it from the front. I know one of the animations, the chewing one, looks really weird, especially from the front. I believe that this one might actually be a... Yeah, the jaw just completely just moved from its socket and just jiggles around for that animation. But, um, yeah, the bars just sound pretty decent. And um, the model, not, again, not the best, but I think it might be a little bit better than the Apatosaurus. And um, yeah, the skin has nice scale textures. And again, I think the color choice is actually pretty unique on this species. I hope it translates over when they add it into other things. But you move on to you strip the spondylus, which appeared in the last episode of Dino Dana, which I decided to name those dinosaurs, the, um, the, um, Dana's diverse dinosaurs. And um, yeah, the you strip the spondylus is a recolor of the Albertosaurus. But in this game, they have the Dino Dana, the movie Albertosaurus, but this is the old Albertosaurus. So they do have unique designs. And um, yeah, it's a brown and white color scheme, and it has quite a few roars. It has a stomping roar when you press the foot. And um, yeah, I generally think it's not really nice. And I believe this is the one that you have to get this nice long roar. And um, yeah, and then again, this is the stomping one again. And I think generally, honestly, this one doesn't look too much like you should have spawned most, like, like most of the dinosaurs from that episode. They don't really look like they're um, actual dinosaur counterparts, but um, I do think that it's nice that they decided to give them more screen time here since you barely see you strip the spondylus. In fact, you only see like the lower half of it since they don't show the top of it because it's too tall. So, um, yeah. Also, a weird thing about you strip the spondylus in the episode, they don't pronounce it you strip the spondylus, you pronounce it you strip the spondylus, so it's weird. But anyways, we're moving on to Archlon, which one thing about the aquatic creatures that I don't like is how that they um, come with a body of water, which I think it'd be cool if it's like a feature you could turn on, kind of like this, some really nice animations like that one, just there, and I keep on accidentally moving on, which Titanus out of this pack has um, issues with that, but it also has this jumping animation, which is really cool, and even though I don't like the hands on Terror Bird, because it makes no sense, but um, it, it's kind of cool how when it lands, it actually uses its hands the like brace its fall and generally um yeah just it looks really good it looks similar to the one from the show and um yeah this time it's going to be on the dino dana pack and this pack has the second most amount of species in um well all of the packs i did actually do the um, diverse species um part three which is the one that has the most species and this one is the second most species also i think it has the best bottles since it has quite a few bottles from dino dana the movie and um yeah hopefully we also get a dino dex pack in the future which we probably will get get that soon, so we can actually get a good look at the models. And whenever that pack comes out, I'll probably buy it and do a video on it. But anyways, let's jump into this one. <clears throat> and um, so yeah, again, uh, I took it outside, which I actually don't come outside too often. Maybe I'll do more videos outside. But anyways, um, yeah, the first model we have is Spinosaurus, which this is the knuckle walking Spinosaurus from the movie, and. I actually used to have this pack, and this is one of my favorite creatures that is in the pack. And also, I just really like the Dino Dana, the movie Spinosaurus. So, um, yeah, it's a really nice model. <clears throat> I like how it still has the colors of the original Spino, with the oranges kind of splashed on it, though it is a little bit less than I would have liked to see. And it does have a lot of crocodilians, osteoderms, which is a bit inaccurate, and also it's knuckle walking, which is also inaccurate. <clears throat> also, another interesting thing is that in the movie, it actually doesn't knuckle walk too often. Honestly, we don't see it walk too often, but it's not even, usually when it's on its knuckles, it's on them, like, for a few seconds, and then it stands back up, but it's not walking fully, pretty much, in this. And I have to give this model a 10 out of 10, even compared to the other ones. I just love this model. Actually, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. It is a really nice model. <clears throat> Though it is outdated, I still love this one. Now we're going to move on to Yoplocephalus, which I'm just going to say right, right now, 10 out of 10 is one of my favorite redesigns since the original Yoplocephalus was ugly. But, um, yeah, this is 10 out of 10. I love the Zeratops animations. are pretty fluent. 
the model is a bit bright, though it does have the original colors from the one from the show. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> Generally, I would give it a, f I don't know, a 7 out of 10. Maybe actually a 6.5, but I think a 7. And it's actually pretty fair for this one. Also has a walking animation, which not all dinosaurs have. But I think it's generally really good. But anyways, on to the next one, which is the Brachiosaurus. And, um, yeah. The Brachiosaurus' model is really tall, so it's really hard to get in the frame anywhere. But looking up at the top of this thing, <clears throat> it, all the animations are really slow and are generally rars. And also, it has had pretty much the same model since Dino Dan, except it has been slightly remodeled just to get the textures a little bit better. And generally, it has stayed mostly the same, though I don't think it really needs a redesign unlike the Amontosaurus. And um, yeah, I'd give this one a 5 out of 10. I'm not crazy about the Dino Dan Brachiosaurus. I never was the biggest fan of it, though I also don't hate it. And it also has a lot of, just mentioned this, it has a lot of spikes. But anyways, on to the next model, which is the one the only Diplodocus, and, um, yeah, the Diplodocus' model is, um, unfortunately not the movie variation, which really sucks. I love the movie Diplodocus. It's one of my favorite redesigns, and it's, um, actually not that one. It's the same as the Dino Dana and Dino Dan Trek's Adventure Diplodocus. And somehow this model looks way better than their Apatosaurus design, which, even though it is just a recolor of this, I don't know how this one looks way better. And I give this one a 4.5 out of 10. If it was the movie variation, probably get a 9.5 or maybe even a 10 out of 10. But I do really like this. Like the Diplodocus. Though so I also think the color work, uh, the colorations and the patterns and the sound effects are all good. Also, I believe this was in here before the movie came out, though I could be wrong about that. I know at least the model, you could, like, if you looked at Alberta Source, you usually could find this model before the movie even came out. And, um, yeah, that's why I was waiting for so long for them to add, use this model. But, um, yeah, generally, I think it's great. Walking animation's pretty good. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> again, another 10 out of 10 creature. And I think it needed a redesign quite a bit. Now we're on to the last one, which is Tatakasaurus. Tatakasaurus's model, I'd say a 9.5 out of 10. And this is a Trex Adventure model, so it's a little bit older, but it's still not outdated. Patterns 